The Brady Printer I7100 Peel Model Printer is required for several special types of printing and is unique from the standard model because it ships with a smooth peel bar that has no serrated teeth, as well as a lower assist roller with pinch roller and a take-up axle. These enable the printer to do three types of printing. Standard printing, standard printing with internal rewind of printed labels, and peel and present printing with either manual button press label advance or automatic label advance. This video will show how to use a peel model printer to peel and present with automatic advance mode. For this, you will need to install a present sensor accessory and specify the job in your printer driver. To install the present sensor, in this case, the PS900, begin by powering off and unplugging the printer. Then, remove the anti-static brush, which may interfere with the sensor's light beam. Use the hex key tool to unscrew the anti-static brush and remove the component. Then, unscrew the front plate and remove it. Be sure to line up the port and screw on the sensor and screw it back into place. Now you can turn the printer back on. Once you've installed the sensor and powered the printer on, go into your print driver to change the print job to peel mode. Open your driver, right click and select Printing Preferences, and choose the Advanced Setup tab. Click the Options button within the tab where you can change your print job type to a peel off print job. You can adjust peel displacement here as well, which is the amount of exposed label that hangs off after printing. Then click Apply to apply your changes, then hit OK. You can also change the peel offset on the printer itself. Use the touchscreen interface to go into Settings, then Setup, then Peeling Off, and then you can adjust the peel off position as necessary. To print your labels, begin with the ribbon installed and the print head set to the open position. Next, bend the media back under the peel plate, over the lower assist roller, keeping the pinch roller open, and then back underneath the take-up axle. Tuck the media under the small tab on the axle, being sure to line it up with the media above it. Now, turn the green knob counterclockwise to expand the axle to tighten it against the media in the tab. Now tighten the media to remove slack and close the pinch roller. Adjust the sensor if needed. Then, close your print head and hit the green arrow button on the screen to calibrate. You'll see that while feeding, the label will peel completely away from the liner. If you need to increase tension on the liner to increase peel action, just quickly release the pinch roller contact, slightly advance the take-up spool, and hold it there while re-engaging the pinch roller. When you send your label job to the printer, the first label in the series will print and present itself. Notice the sensor will shine a red dot on the label to detect when you remove it, and then will automatically print, peel, and present the next label in the series.